why it's important to compress your powder and make sure it's compressed enough. Now, I often get comments from folks that say they made some antique muzzle loading propellant, they pressed it, pucked it, did all the stuff, and they tried it, and it's not quite as powerful. It's 100 feet per second slower, it's 200 feet per second slower, something of the nature. Now, the first thing I ask them is, have you checked the density of your powder? The majority of the time I have found, when you have powder that is weaker than whatever it is you're trying to shoot for, no pun intended, whether it be Go-X or Shootson or Swiss, typically the reason why it's a little bit weaker is because it's not quite as dense. Black powder, commercial black powder, I mean antique muzzle-loading propellant, is compressed at a particular rate. That particular rate is 1.7 grams per cubic centimeter, grams per cc. Now, when you or whoever makes some homemade antique muzzle-loading propellant, typically the process known as pucking or corning is when we compress our powder that comes right out of the mill. Now, I use a 20-ton press, but a lot of folks don't have a 20-ton press. They have a 10 or a 12-ton press. And even though they jump through all the hoops and they compress it and they let them dry, a lot of times you can't quite get to that 1.7 grams per cc number if you only press it once. So how do you check the density of your powder? It's pretty easy. Let me show you. So one of the most important things when it comes to making antique muzzle loading propellant is to make sure that your powder is compressed to the same rate as the commercial brands. This here happens to be 1F Swiss. This here is 1F Homemade. Now, commercial black powder is compressed to 1.7 grams per centimeter, which is what we are trying to achieve. So, you can take your volumetric measure, you can set it to 50 grains or 40 or whatever it is you like. We'll just weigh this. Turn our scale back on here. And that comes out to 50.7 grains, which is really good because that's what we have this set at is 50 grains. So now, just for sport, let's check our 1F Swiss. Fifty point four grains. So these are the same within a couple tenths of a grain, which is exactly what you're trying to achieve. Because what that means is that your homemade powder is compressed to almost exactly the same as the commercial stuff. So if you do this and you find that if you set it to 50 and you weigh your charge out and it's only 45 or 42, all that means is your powder is not quite as dense as the commercial grade stuff. It's probably closer to 1.5 grams per cubic centimeter or something like that. Now, this is not the end of the world. In fact, I have found that powder that is a little bit less dense actually burns cleaner. Now, I don't know if that's just me, but it seems that way. Now, if it's not bothering you, all you need to do is up your charge by 5 or 10 grains, and that'll get you to whatever the commercial grade velocities would be. But if you do want to remedy this and have powder that is compressed to the same rate and just as powerful, again, not counting charcoal and ratios and so on, what I would recommend, and this is what I do, and I use a 20-ton press, and I still do this, is compressing it twice or Pucking it twice. Now, this is really simple. The way I do it is I take my powder right out of the mill. I, you know, get it a little wet. I forget, I think it's four cc's of water for every 200 grams or give or take. Now, I've gotten a lot of people that were upset about this. I think out of all the stuff, I've got the most angry comments about this right here is why I can't tell you exactly how much water you need to put in your powder to get the right amount of moisture content. And the reason why I can't tell you exactly what you need is because there are too many variables. The ratio, if you're running a little bit less nitrate, 75, 15, 10, a little bit more nitrate, 78, 
1210, you'll need a little bit less water. The ambient humidity of wherever you are right now when you're doing it also plays a part. The charcoal that you're using, whether you're using pine or willow or alder buckthorn, all of those things play a part into the reason why I can't tell you exactly how much. Now, all you tech weenies out there that are mad about that, I'm sorry. The easiest way I can tell you is to just enough water when you're stirring it around that it doesn't make any dust. Apparently, people are upset about that because it's not scientific enough. Anyway, I'm done ranting, I swear. After you get it wet, pour it around, you press it, and you take those pucks. And what I do is I break them up immediately. As soon as I have all my powder pucked, I break them up into quarters. I open up the grinder on my machine. I pour them in there, grind them into big old chunks, you know, about the size of eh, maybe a dime. Then, as soon as I have them all ground up, I go right back over to my press and I pour them into my die and I press them again. This is typically enough to get you to the 1.7 grams per cc number that we're trying to achieve. And even if you're not running a 20 ton press, typically it'll get you there if you're running a 10 or a 12 ton press. You just have to do it twice. Now again, it's more time, it's more tedious, it's more stuff you have to do. If it doesn't bother you, don't worry about it, just do it once. But if you wanna get closer to the 1.7 number, you're gonna to have to do it twice. Everything after that is the same. After your pucks are dried, break them up through your grinder, sort them by size, glaze them for 24 hours, knock the dust and the fines off of them, and you're ready to go. Now I should mention that if you do check the density of your powder, and it is in fact right on par with the commercial stuff at 1.7 grams per cc, and you still are getting lower velocity, what that's going to tell you is you have another problem, whether it's it's not incorporated enough, you're not using a good enough charcoal, something like that. But the majority of the time, if you mill your powder for long enough, you're using a decent charcoal. The majority of the time your powder is weaker is because it's simply not as dense. So, I hope that you found this Black Powder Service announcement educational and instructive. And as usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you did think it sucked, well, then go make your own damn video.